Well, new at six, it is the peak of bee season, and after the long winter, they are certainly out in force. ABC 10 meteorologist Carly Gomez talked with beekeepers. She shows us how to keep your family safe while protecting the bees. As we see a later transition from winter to spring, bees are working quickly to survive. They're compounding the rain, keeping the bees inside. Now there's all this available food, and the swarm calls are coming in an avalanche. Swarms of bees are looking to make new homes, but in the process can be aggressive. I've showed up to calls where the bees are furious. In Los Angeles, two people were hurt in a brutal bee attack involving hundreds of thousands of bees. Locally, Sacramento beekeepers are also seeing large swarms. Bees like these are making their hives on homes, in backyards, and in your neighborhood. And while we need these pollinators, it's not the ideal situation for your pets and your family. This season, probably around 500 or so that we've been able to disseminate to as many people as possible. Um, we can't get to everybody, but we're trying to prioritize and get as many as we can done. Fair Oaks resident Karen Halverson was one of those calls. And we have a bunch of birdhouses up there. Why they picked this one, I don't know. Turns out this large birdhouse was the perfect home for this colony. Bees seek out insulated places they can grow their hive. Common places are in chimneys, attics, underneath overhangs, and in trees. And we're a half mile from the river, so they've got all the blackberries about to open up there. Vetch is hidden. There's a plethora of good forage out there that just got supercharged by the rain. After a few hours of careful dismantling of this birdhouse, the bees are put into a box for relocation. We, we like the pollinators, we didn't want to hurt them. So I figured if we could relocate the hive or find it a good home or preserve the bees somehow, that would be the way to go. If you find bees, beekeepers say whatever you do, don't swat at them. They may see you as a threat and retaliate by stinging you. Some people are allergic to the bees, so one or two stings might be fatal for somebody. Instead, call a beekeeper and observe their behavior. Give them their space and keep children and pets away. Many times their hive is only temporary, but if it remains at your home, follow up with a beekeeper within 72 hours. Carly, thank you. These bees are no joke. It doesn't help to kill an attacking bee. Don't do this. A killed bee gives off an alarm scent that will call its hive mates. Wow. So swatting at one is going to bring all of its buddies and you're going to have a problem. I didn't know they were out for wow. revenge. <laughs> out for revenge. Oh my gosh. Monica, not only do we have to worry about the bees, but also mosquitoes and ticks. It's an active season. Mm -hmm. It's warm out there too, huh?